YouTube. So I'm uh, I'm here to do an honest review on the APR Stage 1 tune for the 2006 Audi A4 B7. Um, my car's got high mileage. I got the tune put on there with 206,000 miles on the clock. I've driven 2,000 miles, so it's got 208,000 now, and I've had no problems with it. The car definitely has more power. However, if you're watching other YouTuber, YouTubers out there and they're, you're watching them do polls and their first reactions um, to it and everything, you're probably going to be disappointed. I watched all that stuff and couldn't believe how excited, you know, these other people were about how much more power their cars had and everything. And then when I got mine done and got in the car and did a poll, yeah, it had more power, but it wasn't going to make me, I mean... It wasn't that exciting. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, in my opinion, this is still the best bang for the buck as far as uh, power gains go. Um, if if you're wanting to keep the car, you know, not do too much to it, but still make it a little bit more than stock, this is the best bang for the buck that you, you could do. Um, what else here? I was concerned about losing my reliability with this vehicle. So I, I'd asked the shop that did the, that did, that did, that did the tune, um, you know, what they would recommend for me. They recommended just changing the plugs, the coil packs and the diverter valve. Um, so I changed the diverter valve with the go fast bits, uh, kit from Australia. And then, you know, changed plugs and coil packs and everything. Those were super easy. Um, I would recommend to those with high mileage B7s uh, that are wanting to do the tune to also make sure that you do your timing belt. So I did my timing belt at 188,000 miles, so about 20,000 miles ago now. And um, yeah, make sure you do that. And then also make sure you do your cam follower. Those are the two big things that could, you know, really quickly ruin this motor um, if, if you don't if you don't take care of it. Uh, if you don't know if you bought your car used like I did and you don't know when the last time it was done, you just better just get it done because it'd be better to be, it'd be better to get it done twice and not know it and, and then know about it the second time and have the service history than to just kind of risk it. Because once that timing belt goes, the motor's cooked, it's done. Once the cam follower wears out, if that fuel, high pressure fuel pump wears into that, uh, you know, the cam gear or that the lobes on the, on the back of the cam gear, you're going to have to rip the whole head off anyway. So those are two little kind of silly things that you need to get out of the way, um, you know, to make, to keep the reliability with this motor pushing high, ho higher horsepower. Um, my last little opinion about this. So I was talking to the guys at the shop over at, uh, Bob Henderson, Bob Henson racing, uh, out of Kansas city, Missouri. They're the ones that did my uh, did the tune here for me. Th those guys really know their stuff. If you're in the Kansas City area or if you're nearby, I would I would definitely take my car to them again to do, have them do the tune. Um, but my opinion of this tune is it definitely puts more power to the car. You know, you'll, get, you'll definitely get more power out of the motor. However, I personally feel that if I was a better driver, then I could get this car to go quicker on a stock tune than I presently can do on the stage one tune. Um, and that, I feel like that just goes with any car that you're trying to tune or trying to get more power out of. Sometimes it's not the bolt-ons, sometimes it's not the tunes, sometimes what you need to do to get your car to go quicker is to just be a better driver. Um, learn how to drive your car. So I know that could offend a lot of people. You know, I'm sorry if it does. I'm kind of in that boat. You know, I could, I could definitely be driving this car. You know, I don't, I don't want to say better, but I could, I could learn to drive it. Um, I could learn to drive it how it should be to get it to go quicker. I don't really care. I'm not tracking it. I'm just, I'm just commuting back and forth from work. And um, yeah, just, I just want to feel a little pull when I get on and off the freeway there. But um, anyways, long story short, the tune was worth it. It wasn't nearly as exciting as all the other YouTubers made it out to be. It still is worth the money, in my opinion, if you can get it for less than uh, less than 500 bucks. Uh, I paid um, about 430, 450 bucks right in there, 434 and 39 cents, including tax 
and they put it on myself they put it on themselves too um still worth it however if you were a better driver on a stock tuned car you would probably go you'd definitely be able to get that car to go quicker than an average driver driving a tune you know a car with a stage one tune so anyways do, if you agree great if you don't agree let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else done to this car if you have any other questions or anything leave all that in the comments as well thanks a lot